five things we learned from Tottenham versus Manchester United as Manchester United lost 2-0 against Tottenham Hotspurs. Here are the five things we've learned uh, during that match. Number one, Bruno, Mount and Casemiro midfield triangle does not work. Yes, we found out against Tottenham Hotspurs that Bruno, Mount and Casemiro cannot operate in the midfield. Too much space being left for Casemiro. Mount and Bruno Fernandes too far forward, exposing Casemiro and exposing that midfield of Manchester United, leaving so much space. Yes, Manchester United midfield is Apollo when those three players are playing and Eric Ten Hag needs to fix it because this cannot run. As you know, Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes are the same exact players. Bruno squares, what I call them. You cannot have those midfielders in that midfield far too attacking without any one of them playing in that kind of slight defensive role where they support Casemiro. If Eric Tenor continues to play with those three midfielders, I will be shitting myself and you guys will be shitting yourself for the rest of the season. And you can definitely hope that Manchester United will continue to lose the midfield battle because for as long as we know, Manchester United have been losing the midfield battle for the last, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Number two, Marcus Rashford is not a striker. Anthony and Garnacho are not it playing in the front three of Manchester United. Yes, Marcus Rashford, you found out and you've been finding out for a very long time that Marcus Rashford is not a striker. Although he hopes to play up front and he's spoken about it, he cannot hold the ball. He cannot um, win headers, in, uh, cannot challenge the air as well. He's unable to interplay with the team from playing up front and holding the ball. And yes, of course, he cannot find the spaces. He's just not the player that he is when he plays up front from when, he, from when he plays from the left, guys. And I've had enough, and I've said it before, we would not go anywhere if we played Mark Rashford up front. Yes, he scored 30 goals last season, but that was playing from the left majority and some playing in the middle. But we need a proper striker. With Anthony and Garnacho, you can see it. The decision-making is just not good enough. Garnacho, two games in a row, a poor game. Anthony as well, Poor games. Anthony does everything but not beat a man. But he can beat a woman but not beat a man on the wing. Garnacho making the wrong decisions from the first game against Wolves and again against Tottenham just being ineffective. Garnacho should not be starting, guys. Number three, Manchester United still unable to convert their chances. Just like last season, struggling to score goals, taking it into this season as well. Manchester United are still struggling to convert their chances and unable to be ruthless against their opposition. We learned that there still is still a problem at Manchester United and Eric Turner still needs to fix the situation and address it by, of course, signing a proper striker and not signing, you know, B-Tech Harlan. Number four, guys, Andre Onana, we found out that he is the answer for Manchester United for playing out from the back. Yes, composure, he has as well distribution and decision making as well in calmness. We love to see that. And finding finding those long range balls and finding Garnacho, finding Anthony in deep spaces in, in the opposition's half as well. We can see that he is the truth. He is the guy that can we can distribute from the back and change our style. But then again, we also found out that we need some players who are able to keep the ball and be in position because Manchester United lack that. Number five, guys, we found out that Manchester United still lack identity under Eric Ten Hag. Yes, this possession-based football that we were suspecting to see from Eric Ten Hag, from Ajax style of play, we still haven't seen it. We are still finding out that we are unable to find an identity. There's something about this football club. There's a stigma over this football club that we are unable to play the way the Manchester the manager wants us to play and when it comes to attacking football. Yes, we can play pop the bus, counter-attack, sit back, soak up the pressure. We've done that for the last six, seven years. But when it comes to playing proper attack in football, Manchester United are unable to do that. With Eric Ten Hag, the jury is out on him. We found out yesterday as well. Um, this this inclusion of playing Mason Mount and, and Bruno Fernandes will be the reason why we lack identity as well. And certain players do not have the characteristics as well, the minerals and also the technical abilities to keep the ball. And again, this is now become Eric Ten Hag's team with his signing, especially signing Mason Mount as the first signing. It was all on him. But Manchester United cannot play a certain style and we're still figuring out what are we? Are we an attacking team? Are we a possession-based football team? Or are we just freestyling under Eric Ten Hag? And jury is out on him and same as me. We will find out and I'll give him until September. 
this has been your five things we've learned against Tottenham versus Manchester United. You guys let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the game against Tottenham and your thoughts on the five things we've learned against Tottenham as well. Will Manchester United improve and address these five problems for the next game? Anyway, guys, as always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united and subscribe and smash that like button and share across all social media platforms. Your boy is out. Peace.